Morning. Look who's back. <laughs> it's so lovely to see you, Angela. Welcome back. Thank you. I have missed you so much, Robert, and I've missed you all too as well. So uh, it's lovely oh, to be back. We've missed, you all well. we've all missed you as well. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So, yeah, all really, really good. Um, so, yes, so really exciting. I must have missed so, so much, Robert. Um, <laughs> <laughs> What's been going on? <laughs> <laughs> Lots of things. Um, right, <laughs> so um, should we do in the normal introductions for those that are joining us for the first time? Yeah. You go first. Hi, I'm Angela. Um, I love everything crafty and knitting and nattering. And um, this is my wonderful friend, Robert. Hi, I'm Robert. <laughs> uh, I love all things woolly as well. I knit, crochet, <laughs> sew, tapestry, weave card make lego build uh ex cuddly toys which you can see behind me um and we started this so that we could um keep in touch with all of our local friends who uh go to groups um as we now can't go to them and um we've had lots of people join us from um quite a few different places so do say good morning in the chat box um, just to remind you, you can see us, but we can't see you. Um, we will read out comments from the chat box as we go through the session um, so that it can be picked up on the replay. And welcome if you're watching us on the replay. Yeah. So we are here. We will just chat and chat and chat. People can't stop us talking. So, um, yes, we, we can easily fill an hour or two hours. But, Robert, since I've been away, is it right? We're about an hour now? <laughs> Uh, yes, yeah, so today will be just an hour uh, because it's bank holiday. Um, we did an hour, we tried to do two hours on Friday and no, sorry, we did an hour on Friday, two hours on Saturday. Um, so what we've decided to do going forward is we will just do 10 till 11 unless we have a guest speaker. And there's a few of those bubbling away in the background. And if there is going to be a guest speaker, we'll let you know in advance um, so that you know whether you're joining for an hour or two hours. So, um, yeah. uh, and as you can see on the screen, um, Robert and uh, sorry, Angela and Robert Web TV has now been replaced by Goggle Frogs Knit and Natter. So, <laughs> I sent an invite last night to most of the people in my Facebook um, circle um, to join. It is a public domain, so please, if you're not one of my Facebook friends, do find it, do do request to join, uh, and then you can post your working projects. And your pictures straight to there we'll also then be able to pull out of the sessions any other pages that we show you we'll be able to put those straight in as well mm. um so yes as you can see that's below you uh, below oh. on the screen thanks ever so much for that so the goggle frogs uh, came from oh it must be one of the first like shows that we did and i think it was claire wasn't it who came up with the name like Goggle from some Tracy. Oh, was it Tracy? Oh, sorry. It was Tracy, yeah. Oh, thank you so much, Tracy. So, yeah, we've been renamed Goggle about Frog. Because we were talking about Goggle Box. <laughs> um, and some, somebody said, uh, this is a bit like, oh, Tracy says it wasn't her. Maybe it was Claire after all. Sorry. Um, came about because we were talking about Goggle Box and this being a bit like Goggle Box because we were talking about TV and stuff like that. And then we were mentioning about the fact that you frog your knitting all the time um so we then came up with goggle frogs Yay! um which seems to work yeah so that's it um so it's, it's i think it suits us very very well very well so i've got some work in progress that's nearly finished i've just got pom-poms to do but i'll show you that when i finish um part way through um but yeah um so well, should we say good morning to people who are here yes let's Sorry, I haven't done this for ages. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> good morning, Claire. Oh, Claire's Hi, just Claire. booked. Oh, good morning, Claire. Hello, how are you? And then there's me and Robert. Good morning, Brigitte. Lovely to see you. Um, good morning, Brigitte. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, morning Dawn. Chris. Good morning, morning Greg. 
Morning, Grace. Good morning, Helen. Morning, Helen. Morning, Jackie. Morning, Jackie. Good morning, Janet. Hello. Morning, Janet. Good morning, Judy. Good morning, morning Marianne. Judy. Good morning, Sophia. Good morning, Sheila. Morning, Sophia. And good morning, good morning Sheila. Good morning, Tracy. <laughs> and I know so, quite and, a lot of lots of people in the comments asking how things are at your end um we seem to have a frozen claire or not being able to hear us claire all right no i can now oh fab i was just taking oh, hi, claire. Hello, hello. Hello. i was just taking the opportunity to catch up on the comments <laughs> while you were saying your good right, morning okay. oh. we, we haven't yeah. even started on those yet so don't worry i know i know we but have Lots of people asking in the comments, Angela, about how you are and how things are up in Leeds. I'm fine, thank you. I've got a little bit of a cold coming on. My dad's in hospital. They're taking really good care of him. Every day he seems to be getting better, um, a, a little bit more better. So um, we FaceTimed the day before yesterday and my dad really couldn't talk very much. Um, but we FaceTimed yesterday and he said when are you coming home meaning when am i coming home i said don't worry dad i'm making you a stew for when you come home this is all good so every day there's a bit of progress he has uh, he is positive for covid so he's in the covid ward um he had a um a really bad uti we tried to get help him at home but he's now on mega 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 antibiotics to try and um, treat his infection and um, and they're taking really 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 good care of him and the honestly the staff every time i ring them even yesterday the ward sister said oh i don't really know how to use that app with the thing just have you got an iphone brilliant let's just um facetime now uh, on her phone and then she sent me a quick message and just said anytime you want to facetime um here again tomorrow so they've been absolutely amazing um yes so he's in there he's in the best place and he's been looked after and now i've got a cold i don't know whether i've got hay fever cold covid who knows but um i'm just um really dosing up getting the immune system as high as i can which is all we can do so i'm plugging aloe like there's no tomorrow um and i also heard from a consultant a reti retired consultant um my friend told me um, it's one of her family members. Um, stick your head over bo a bowl of boiling water with something like fairy liquid in it. Put a towel over your head and just inhale it because apparently, as soon as as long as there's a degre degreaser in it, it helps to get rid of um, virus infections, whatever's up, you know. So that's what I'm doing. So my daddy's fine, thank you very much. He's not home yet um but um yeah with all of these things our nhs are absolutely unbelievable so uh, they're getting him better thank you very much he hasn't got any of the normal signs he hasn't got any respiratory issues whatsoever he hasn't got a dry cough he had a chesty cough um but this covid is still so early that people don't necessarily know um and or could he be a carrier we just don't know um, but he's in the COVID ward and they're looking after him, which is brilliant. So thank you for all of your well wishes. It meant an awful lot. Um, but yeah, I'm back with you now. And just as well, we're doing it like this because I'm, I can't go out of the house now. <laughs> so <laughs> for 14 days and then another 14 days when my dad comes home. So who knows how long I'm in Leeds. But hey, I may be doing oh, a little no. bit of northern some wool because I don't think I'll have enough wool left. So that's about me back on to uh, thank you ever so much and we'll be back on to everything that we love talking about all this um well you know these um which way around does it go here we go i haven't done my pom-poms yet but i thought i'd show you oh wow wow so there we go and you know what? Absolutely love this. It's even around the bottom. It isn't blocked or anything yet, but can you see how beautiful? I'm going to turn it the other way around because gravity is brilliant. That's the bottom of it. So you get these beautiful, big, um, lovely 
edging bits. Oh. And that's around yeah. the bottom. So I absolutely love lovely. this. One cake. One cake. Um, and I think it's lovely. And then there's just three pom poms to go on. So um, I can absolutely um, recommend this free pattern from the spot sheet. And um, which one is it, Robert? Can you remember what wool it is? The teak as well. That's it. And it's um, a batik pom pom wrap. So under ten pounds with a free pattern to make a shawl that is that big, I think is absolutely amazing. So I'm really, really pleased with that purchase. So that's me a little bit so, of a uh, wick. Somebody's saying how many Somebody's what? saying how many time how many uh, times did you frog it? Do you know what? I frogged it once and that was because I tried, you know me, you know me too well, uh, but I tried to do, get an extra, can you see, um, most of the blocks are quite wide and I tried to do an extra couple of rows to make the yellow wider and when I got right to the end, the last few things, pink went into it, so I had to frog it, <laughs> only about two or three um, rows and that was it. So yeah, it was it was frog slightly, but um, I didn't want the pink on the edge, and I was just trying to be um, get as much out of the cake as I could. So that's that, okay. and then I've got that much left just to make pom poms. So hopefully I'll get two pink pom poms and a purple, or I might just do them all multicolored, so it's more rainbow. But we'll see. <sighs> So it's what do I do next? So people are saying, can they send you yarn? Oh, do you know what? This is the bit of a dilemma. I, I will, I will, uh, that is so lovely. Uh, let me have a think. But I um, <clears throat> I signed up for, um, it was a bar am you, Cal. And they'd sent the email out two days ago to say that they'd just released a few more spots to get some of their lovely wool for this wrap that I've always wanted to do. So anyway, I didn't get around to it straight away for obvious reasons. Um, so I signed up last night. Anyway, I can't. They've run out of the wool again. <laughs> so oh, like, no. And I thought, hang on a minute. I've got this beautiful ball of Geshi Noro at home. In So... Um, Robert, you told me that I could use Geshi with it. And I thought, you know what? I could make it 100% Noro and get some of their plain wool to go with it. But that means that I've got to send my hubby into my stash to oh, find no, it. Oh, no, don't do that. No. So that would mean I'd need to no, buy another ball of Geshi. Exactly. So it's like, um, I don't think I can do that. And I know I've got some beautiful wool that I could use. <laughs> Could use, <laughs> but um, never mind. So I don't, I don't quite know. When I say I haven't got anything to do, I think this is coming out. So I think I'm going to be doing some more of this one, um, which I this is the Gansey stitch pattern blanket. So I think I'm going to be doing a bit of that. But because it's always a twelve row repeat, it's not the sort of thing I can do on this. You know me and frogging. I can't frog all of this but um this is just the the patterns are beautiful and the stitch definition from bar am you it's always pure wool um it is an investment it's not something but this is um actually and um, i went i went into the shop with my dad bless him it was just me and my dad and i said come on let's go to bar am you this was about two years ago i think and we went in and they didn't have one of the colors so I chose the different colours um, and I said, oh, they go together, got them home. And it was only when I got them home, I realised one of the colours was rhubarb, which is that one, uh, which is my favourite. I love rhubarb. I cook with rhubarb. I love the colour. And then one of them is called Airedale, which is where my dad was born. And one of them is called Doncaster, which is where my mum was born. So you couldn't have got better things but yeah i picked them all up and i just thought this is our family blanket when it's 
finish. So it's quite a nice time to finish the family blanket, I think. So, um, yeah. yeah, so I need to get onto this, but I can't do this while I'm talking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Claire? Hello. Hi. Oh, hi, morning. Come on, let's play again. Well, um, right now, because I'm just sat down and I've picked up my hex, uh, my squares again. Now, I've nearly finished colour, well, shade the third shade. Oh, hang on, let me get this right. You th you'd have thought I've got the hang of this by now. Um, the third shade. <laughs> um, but I've got another two greys and a black to go around that. So they are going to be about 12 inch square when I finished which will be great but um as you can imagine as I'm getting to every round it's taking a bit longer to do all 36 so hopefully yeah. I will get the third gray on today but it, it is one of those sitting down and can do it without thinking about it um projects which is exactly what I needed right now so um so yeah it's going okay I love the colors yeah. Claire yeah, um, as as I was saying to um, Robert and everybody during the week, grey is much underrated. Yeah. Um, I did, when I was picking out um, about five or six different shades of several colours from different um, yarn suppliers, as I suppose, um, I even had more. Mort is a lot better at art and colour than I am. So I regularly ask him for second opinions. And we both decided on the greys. So, um, yeah, because it is actually a test of whether you've got the shades right, because you actually can't hide behind really bright colours. But, um, yeah, no, I, I think it's a much underrated colour to use. So there we go. So that's what I'm up to at the moment. So yeah, I'm afraid it's the same project as I've been doing for several days, but I just wanted to get, get that shoved forward a bit. Um, and we were a bit busy online yesterday. Now, usually over Easter, there's a bunch of us, there's a bunch of friends who are into like vintage um, events and stuff, yeah. had started up last year a renewed tradition of an Easter parade around London. Um, and it was all planned for this year, and we were all going to go and meet up. Um, but unfortunately the lockdown happened. So we had a zoom Easter parade instead where we all got dressed oh. up in whatever we were going to get dressed up to go to in London and all met up online and oh. did, um, photos online and stuff instead. So, uh, so that was quite fun. That was yesterday afternoon. Oh, good. Is that the picture that I saw on Facebook? Yeah. The one with me in the hat. Yeah. yeah it looked lovely. That was my new hat for this year. I'm sure it'll come out again um, later in the year for other events. But yes, that was that was my new hat. So. Ah, oh, that's lovely. Oh, good. And Robert, are you doing your jumper? Yes, Angela. It came out last week <laughs> after I finished the shawl, and um, the, the the consensus was because when I get to the the raglan decreases because I. I'm having problems with it. The consensus was to get the group to help me. So we're going to do that. But before I get there, I want to get the back to the, uh, the back and the front to the same part of the pattern. Mm. So then I can, then it's easier to just, um, to do it together. We bullied um, him into it. Yeah. So <laughs> this is my, this is my goggle frogs project, but I am working on, two other projects in the background as well and a third one starts this week because i'm doing something for work as well oh wow oh I, i've been so, roped into teaching people how to crochet at work so i'm oh. um i'm gonna start that this week yeah hmm. good um, how many people then, uh, i don't know at the moment um because i've tried to avoid work this weekend um yeah and um, I'm also doing my nephew's Harry Potter stuff that I got sent. Um, yeah, you won't have seen that. Uh, and I've got, um, there's a Harry to do as well. 
because my, my sister's struggling with it. So I've been doing that and I have a Hogwarts letter. Not that you can see it very well, but there's there's the envelope and then the seal oh, right goes on there as well. That is just gorgeous. It's very fiddly because it's, uh, it's on a three millimetre needle. Mm. Right. Um, and the wall's not particularly great. It's quite starchy. Um, um but old fashioned acrylic. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> not beautiful new acrylic that we all use. <laughs> so and then I and then last night I cast on 120 stitches. Oh right, using this wall that I was gifted by Marion. Yeah. Mate. That. Oh, we're doing shandy. Yes, we are doing shandy. I think I, I wrote the pattern out last night, and Gary was looking at me as if to say, "Why have you written the pattern? You've got the printed pattern." And so I said to him, "Well, it's because it's easier to just read it and mark it off as you go, yeah. and then I know where I am." Oh, so there we go. I, I just love her patterns. At some point, I'm going to buy her wool, but um. I still do everything to support local. So whose is that? Uh, Shandy Expression Fibre Arts. She's on Facebook. Right. She does she does little knit longs on Facebook Lives. And what she does is she tends to do a free pattern every week. Um, mm. And she just asks that you share it on your social media. Um, she has the most amazing wool. Well, it looks the most amazing wool um, that she hand dyes. Um, it's in America, um, and she's got a great loyal following. Really, really good. But um, she, if you go on her website, just look for Expression Fiber Arts. There's lots of free patterns as well on there. Um, right. Yeah. Um, I mean, her, 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 her yarn, her wool is very, very beautiful the hand dyeing mm. just looks amazing um and she's really good with color so um yeah have a look and every time i think oh that's a lovely shawl or that's a lovely jumper and i think oh god that's about 250 quid for the wool mm -hmm. <laughs> but there's other ones that you only need a few and you probably got this stuff in your you know things that you could use in your stash that's oh, what a stash is for but I'm sure that um, stash is more like a bank vault, never to take things out of. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, she, she uh, her stuff is lovely. I've been following her for a few years. Um, very chatty, upbeat, spiritual. Really lovely, lovely, decent lady. Yes. So um, yeah, please have a look at her stuff. Follow her on Facebook. It's really, really good. And she does lots of crochet and she'll do a knitting pattern one week and then there'll be a crochet equivalent. Um, and uh, yeah, so lots and lots of lovely stuff. So, so while, uh, while we're talking about low, uh, yarn, sh uh, yarn shops, um, Sheila's on and she sent me a message this morning to say, um, do that if you email the girls at the spotted sheep .co .uk, stating what you need with as much info as possible um she is going into the shop tomorrow tuesday and friday until about one o'clock um so she can send you a paypal invoice or if needed you can pay over the phone and then she goes to the post office about three o'clock um so it gives her the chance to post out on that day you do have to cover pmp though um yeah. and They've got some Easter patterns which I shared on Saturday, which are free until midnight tonight. So there we go. Uh, so that might be a solution uh, to your wall problem, Anne. I think that might be my next project, Sheila. <laughs> I've been looking at this. So I'll be in touch once I've decided. <laughs> or, or could it be a Noro? I don't know. <laughs> What's it going to be? Who knows with me? I'll be in touch. Right. Shall we go through some of the uh, chat? 
Yeah. yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. So the shawl that you did, it's Batik Swirl uh, Meadow is the is the colour that you've used. Yeah. Um, someone requested to take the website off, so I took it off, but I will, I'm going to put it back in a minute. Um, Linda says, good morning, everybody. Morning, Linda. Uh, Brigitte says, Angela, I think Alan would forgive you anything at the moment, even your enormous stash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he is. He is. Uh, and Marion says, maybe if he drunk some, uh, at least he won't have drunk any schnapps, Brigitte. Not quite sure what that means. Uh, Deborah says, morning. Hope everyone had a good, but if, uh, a good but if strange easter morning deborah georgie mm -hmm. says morning angela that sounds lovely morning angela morning. um sheila says that's lovely angela jackie has started it started the uh blanket that you showed oh fab fab yes it does look lovely um, so uh, mm -hmm. One for Sheila. Sheila says, um, uh, Marion says, has the Spotted Sheep let the UK Hand Knitting Association know they are open as they are keeping a record and publishing it? Nice Ooh. one, Marion. Perfect. Uh, and actually, that's one to put onto the website. Uh, so I will put on Goggle Frogs, I will put the Hand Knitting Association on. And then we can all, when we want, all have a look there. Okay, so we've had and some we'll pictures. We'll talk about that in a bit, the, the Saturday coming up. Uh, sorry, what was that? Are we going to just mention that the Hand Knitting Association on Saturday? Or was that gone? Was that Saturday just gone? That's not the Hand Knitting Association. Oh, it's sorry. <laughs> the, uh, that's fine. That's fine. I will get the picture. It's the online wall show. Um, so let me. God, I've just realised how bad my hair is. I've just washed it and I haven't bothered to dry, pull or dry it properly. Right. So this is coming from Chris. This is her finished cardigan. Oh, wow. Ooh. That's lovely, Chris. And I know that Chris will have exactly the right shade of trousers to match that because Chris is always so coordinated. <laughs> so when we're all out and about, we'll want to see you, Chris. Um, that's lovely. So neat as well. It is. I don't think it's for her. I think it's for her grandson. Oh, <clears throat> it's beautiful. Well done. Uh, yes, finished it in time for Easter. Oh, that's brilliant. Um, let me see. I did get. Where else did I get in? Uh, so Katie was hoping to join us today and she sent a picture last night of so last week there was that last week there was the thing going around about doing the pairs of hearts oh uh, ICU units so that's the ones that she's done they're gorgeous they are love those well done oh a simple quick thing to do as well mm. it is um and i'm just going to check to see if we've had anything loaded can i just see i've just so, seen in the comment sorry i've just seen in the comments that sorry. jackie sprained her ankle yesterday while she was out walking really Ooh. sorry jackie hope you're comfortable Oh, you poor thing. Jackie Taylor. I, yeah. I sympathise. 
and empathised. I have history in doing my ankles, so um, I'm so sorry. Lots of rest and a great excuse for more knitting and crochet. With and somebody bringing whatever you need to you. And a cheeky glass of wine whenever you want it as well. <laughs> it numbs the pain. Absolutely. Yeah. And makes you careless. <laughs> <laughs> as I found out yesterday, but that's a different story. Um, right. Marion says the Knitting and Crochet Guild Facebook page will be putting um, uh, the Hand Knitting Association on every so often to support local yarn shops. Beatrice says great cardigan. Chris says yes, it was for, for her grandson. She thinks there are two Chris's in the chat. I've just had a quick look, Chris, and no, you are the only Chris oh. in the chat. That's all right. So um, I think we only ever get two Lindas, and that's where it gets slightly confusing. But I think we got slightly confused as to which Chris you were, even if there's yeah. only one in the chat. Yeah. Anyway, well Never done. Mind. Gorgeous yes. question. Perfect. It was lovely. Jackie says, yes, I'm okay, thanks. So no walking for a while. And yes, lots of knitting to be done. Yes, Hubby will be waiting on me, but he doesn't know that yet. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, I told well, Gary I... after having done everything in the house for the last week that he was waiting on me today, and that hasn't worked. Has it not? No. Oh. Well, I kept speaking to Alan, and um, he's he he's going out tomorrow to do his weekly shop, and everything's really organised. When like when I go out, I cook different meals for us and stuff like that. So Alan says, "I hope you're not going to be gone forever because I can't live on two chicken steaks every night." <laughs> so that's what he's living on: oh. either chicken steaks or soup from Marx's. And he's even got it down to, <clears throat> I said, there's another, um, what do you call it, loaf in the freezer, just get it out. He said, no, I've got two two pieces left for my breakfast. So he's very organised and precise, and that's not me, but uh, I think no. he's really missing the fact that he's getting meals. So I did say, well, I know I refuse to have a micro microwave in the house, but you can always get a ready meal and put it in the oven. All right? Yeah. That still happens. Um, but yeah, so bless him is surviving on chicken steaks. Never mind. I'm sure I'll go home at one one day and look after him. <laughs> Have you seen just Beatrice's comment as well? That, that, that's assuming that he actually wants you to come back. <laughs> Actually, it is. <laughs> he's probably really enjoying the piece. He's, well, he, he's enjoying the piece. He's also really happy with the fact that there's only one cup, one plate, one knife, one fork. Not hundreds, like with me. I have a new cup every time I have a cup of tea, which Alan doesn't. He just washes the old one. Um, so I think it's much tidier. Um, but he do, he's had two days now. He refuses to have a drink at home. He won't drink at home. And the last two days, I think he's finally chilled out and he has actually sat in the garden and had a few beers. So, um, yeah, he's, uh, he's getting used to relaxing and chilling. And I even sent him an audible credit for a yeah. book last night. <laughs> I gifted him a book, bless him. But, um, yeah, will he want me to go home? Well, I think he'll want the food. <laughs> So I think he'll want his chicken and rice, but um and possibly he said, the washing. Yeah, always oh, actually use the washing machine. So that's good. It's used the washing machine. Oh wow. Yeah. And can I just say we, we just do the what iron? we enjoy in the house. I, I do not enjoy doing any like of that other worky stuff. And I love cooking, so I do all the cooking. Um, but he does the real, he does the proper deep cleaning. I can't do that. I'll like keep everything tidy ish. Um, but he did mention the only room left to sort out is the front porch where some of my stash is. I hope you don't go near it because <laughs> it'll only upset him when he sees how much is there oh. stuffed into different bags and boxes because people just don't get it, do they? 
you might need 10, 10 balls there just to look at every so often. You don't need to do anything with them. They're like an ornament. Um, so, yeah, that's funny. It's that's inspiration. Totally... It is, isn't it? It's just like, it's oh, look there. Inspiration. Yeah. I've realised I, I haven't even got any cardboard up here to make a pom-pom. <laughs> and I've got a blink, blinking pom-pom maker at home that I bought at Ali Pali. And now is the time I need that pom-pom maker. <sighs> Never, Never mind. mind. Never mind. I'll have to do all Cereal packet? Yeah. Do you know what? Yes, I can. Because... I've washed out, I've thrown away all the old um, cornflakes of my mum and dad's and I've got one of those things with the slidey, the plastic containers, the Tupperware things. So I have got um, a cornflake box that I can use. I'm doing Blue Peter style this afternoon. <laughs> Thank you for that inspiration there, Claire. No worries. Oh. Necessity is the mother of invention. So Yeah, it is, isn't it? I just feel so lost because I can't actually do anything. I've got I've got one cardigan that I have to do an I cord bind on, so that's not what I can do. I've got my Gansey, um, what is it, blanket, which is a twelve row repeat that I can't do. I've got my narrow blanket that I've got to crochet up seventy odd little individual triangles. So there's nothing I can do while I'm just talking to you. I don't think. I don't think about any little projects. No. So I think I might right. have to get Sorry, some guys, more. I'm just going to put myself on mute so you don't hear me typing away. Um, I'm just I'm going to stay on, but I'm going to mute the mic for a, a second because I just need to do a quick typey thing to Tesco. So I won't be like. Don't worry, don't worry. Fine. Ah, oh, right. Okay, so, I'm. Oh, I'm just going to have a look through and see if there's any other things that we've um, forgotten about. Um, right, so I I need to decide what my next project is. Actually, I'll just show you this cow that I was going to do, and it's a real shame that um, they've run out. But that's a good. Um, it's a good. Oh, it's called night shift knit along. Uh, and I'll just show you the yeah. which way around should it be? So that was the picture. Ooh. And again it's Bar Am You, which I love. They're a Leeds company. Um but you can do this. It's called Night Shift and it's on Ravelry. So I'm not too sure whether as part of this knit along you get the pattern, but I'll show you how um, that's, um, you're probably not going to be able to see the detail right. of that. Um, but it's nice. I've kept looking at it, um, thinking at some point I'm going to have to buy more bar, bar on you but i think now what i might do is i might just make it out of noro and i may even ask alan to just go into that stash find a ball of noro which he'll probably come back and say what this one no this yeah. one no. <laughs> um so um i think if i get him to send up my noro then i can interlace that because it's geshi which is beautiful wool um, and I can interlay that with some greys and some greens and, hey, it'll just be beautiful as all of our creations are. So I think that's what I'm going to do um, and just have a look and see what colours I want to put together to try it, to try and do this. Um, <coughs> such a shame that I haven't got it all. Oh, the, these are the, um, look, those are the different walls that you use to make that um so beautiful colors and they're all named after things like one of them is called bramley baths and bramley baths is an old-fashioned um 
swimming pool but can you remember in the old sort of 1920s style where you had all yeah. the cubicles around the outside of yeah. the baths and it's still like that today really really old fashioned so those are the colors that it would knit up to so mm. i'm like mm, i've missed out but never mind there may be some more slots available but all 10 slots um sold out within 30 minutes yeah so, it's very popular so next time i get one i'm gonna have to have a little alert on my phone so i go that's it bought it um, okay. i think i'll be using some of my stash now for this um probably not a bad idea yeah but there's some great stuff out there absolutely great stuff so yeah um and uh something that they were using as well i don't know if people know about this company um because lots of people have got companies businesses there's a company called go cardless and they allow you to set up a direct debit now right. Um, if you're a business, you can't have go, um, a direct debit facility unless you've got hundreds of thousands in reserves normally. Yeah. Um, so direct debits are, are hard to set up, but go cardless allow you to set them up. Um, standing order means you dictate how much you pay, whereas a standing order is at the um, at the business owner's side um, how much they're going to take from you. Um, yeah. So that's quite interesting that they've set up a cal where they are sending out all of the wool and they are taking a direct debit payment every week from you. Um, so it's just an idea for people. Um, if you've got ideas about what you want to do with your business, of course you have to pay, <laughs> um, go cardless, but they are the direct debit company and they um, approve and manage everything for you. So Sheila, um, certainly for yourselves, that's something to think about because direct debits are really good and they mean that you can up prices lower prices so if you wanted to send out um if if you're doing things like a yarn club they're really good um because it may be 20 pounds for this one next month may only be 18 pounds and on a direct debit you can flex that so yeah you're back with us now robert I am, yes, sorry. I finally got a message back from Tesco's. They've agreed to put my mother-in-law, who is 90 miles away, on the priority list for deliveries, but they needed some information. So I muted you while I just quickly typed. Perfect. So That is brilliant. She she messaged last week to say, oh, I got on the bus today and went into the food shop and then got a bus back. And I was like, what the hell are you doing, you silly woman? Aww. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I was then straight onto Tesco's. I need your help. I can't get a delivery slot for her. What can I do? Oh, bless. <laughs> they, they, they agreed to help. So, because uh, her, her daughter and son-in-law are also in lockdown for their son's mm. health conditions. So it's not like they can go out and do it for her either. So, anyway. That's, uh, and right. that's So, issue, um, isn't it? I missed bits in the background. Have we read out any chat recently? um no have we read out any chat recently no okay so georgie said she had to disappear but now she's back welcome back helen oh. has gone uh she's gone out for, for a few things happy crafting all bye helen louise says during lockdown i'm doing yoga online in my craft room so can admire my stash at the same time very very happy place sounds lovely <laughs> that's, and that's that's lovely. From different perspectives as well uh, yeah, and actually, if you're doing kind of the upside down pose, you might get a different thought of, oh, that's what I can use that for. Exactly. Uh, Trisha's joined, and it's nice to see you, Angela. Morning, Trisha. Morning. Tracy asked, what was the knit along thing called again? I think that um, is. It was the night shift. And Claire's replied, night shift knit along. Bar Ram U. B W A R A M E W E, um, night shift show. Sure. Um, Tracy, I'll send you the email. Uh, um, no, I can't. I haven't got your email address. I don't think. But just look on. Send it, me, send, send it to me. I've got Tracy's email address. Oh, fab. Uh, Deborah says, Robert, I did hear you mention the online war show. I saw something online, but haven't heard when it's happening. So it's this Saturday um we'll put the website details in the goggle frogs facebook page 
Um, it's just literally four pictures at the moment. There's not really an awful lot of detail, but I am looking at it two to three times a day. And as soon as I get some information, I will let you know. Basically, it's the Northern and the Southern Spring show, Spring Wall shows have come together collectively. Um, so they're going to do um, some stuff on there. Uh, and that's this Saturday. I believe it starts at 10 o'clock. They're going to have speakers. They're going to have shops and all sorts. So definitely one to watch. Um, what I thought we might do this Saturday is do something slightly different. And we'll, we'll play it by ear for now. But I thought hypothetically what we would do on Saturday is have the normal goggle frogs at 10 o'clock. But I won't knit i will just look at the wall show on my laptop i have my ipad here so i can talk to you about what's going on with the wall show so you guys can all carry on in the background um and maybe you two lovely ladies will read out the chat and i'll just interrupt and talk when there's something happening and when we know more information yeah okay as a hypothetical plan for now uh Trisha said sorry to hear about your ankle jackie more time for knitting um do, 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 do. Tracy posted about my mother-in-law. Um, I, I can't get through on website or phone to Morrison. So, but thank you, Tracy, for the idea. Uh, and Trisha says that sounds great, Robert. Uh, lovely. Um, can we uh, plug tomorrow night's um, Black Lion virtual knit and natter? So, for those of you who are local to us, uh, on the second Tuesday of the month, we normally go to uh, the Black Lion, which is a local pub, an independent pub. And we have a knit and natter there um and it's one of the few times we get to knit and natter with alcohol um and we decided that this time we would do it virtually so everybody is welcome um one stipulation you have to have your favorite tipple with you um unless you're uh, uh, unless you don't drink alcohol uh, that's not or can't get it. Um, <laughs> or, or, yeah or can't get it okay fine um not being, not being used to sorry it's clearly dry house now. Have you run out? <laughs> uh, <laughs> not quite yet. No, I'm. I'm sure I'll pop out tomorrow, but not everybody's in that position. So, right. Okay. <laughs> um, so it might be an opportunity for me to finish off my fifth bottle of something during lockdown. Um, and uh, so yes, yeah, so please do sign up. It's on the Bedfordshire Knitting and Crochet pages um and i will post the link in goggle frogs facebook page as well um we haven't quite worked out who's presenting and who's just talk chatting in the background yet but we can work that out tomorrow Ooh. um and chris has just said bye everybody she's doing the online zumba class at 11 o'clock also being streamed from late and buzzard so thank you for all, all for keeping us in touch and busy bye chris have a lovely day Right, Deborah says, thank you. I would have been going to spring into wool. Really don't need any more wool, but we all need a treat at the moment, don't we? Absolutely we right. And also, the most important thing about the shows is they are a bit of an inspiration. They kind of recharge your crafting batteries, whatever whatever you're into, really. Hmm. I so know it, that... Sorry, go on. Go on. I always find that sometimes I'll have an idea in my head or I've seen a pattern and I just can't find the right walls or the right textures and then suddenly you're just surrounded by all these beautiful colours or the opposite, if you've got some great wool and you just can't find anything to do with it because the patterns that you have um, and you look on Ravelry and let's face it, we can only be on Ravelry for so long until we go sort of craft dead because yeah, <laughs> it's just so much and all of a sudden you just find something you think i can use that wool up for that and it's beautiful so um yeah oh what is that what is that what is that what is that that is the Ooh. page for the online wall show that's no, all there I'm is at looking, the moment i'm looking at that neck i think it's the what is it um, a turtleneck or something beautiful yeah. beautiful beautiful sorry where oh just up a bit. 
that one, the greys, the greys just there. One. Just about yeah. three pinballs. But, well, bottom they... right in the middle, exactly there. Yeah, there. Yeah. That looks lovely. Well, they say it's a video, so. <coughs> it's knitting around and it's knitting up. That is lovely. Wow. Yeah, so this is this is all that there is on the website at the moment. So oh, I will keep I'll checking it two to three times a day. They also have a Facebook page. So as soon as I've got some more information, I will let you all know. Wow. Right. Promising. Yeah. Safia said she's currently cutting out cardboard circles to make pom poms to add to her pom pom tree outside. That's nice. Yeah. Oh, Safia, please do take a picture. And yeah. let's see it at some point. That sounds lovely. Yeah, it does. Oh. And Deborah says absolutely also good to do to do what we can to help these small businesses. Absolutely. And I'll go back to, you know, there's no way I'd have done this if I hadn't have walked into our local shop, the spotted yeah. sheep, because they had yeah. it there. And I think on a it I actually brought this their their sample on our first show, didn't I? I think it was the first or the second show. Yeah, I think so. It's in the that. background of the no, that's uh, it was the day that we took the picture on the Facebook page. Is that? Hmm. I think it was the first one. I think it was the first or the second one. I, yeah. Again, that's where we get our inspiration from because there's no way. I'm not actually traditionally a cake uh, person. I don't no. actually help many. Um, so I would never have bought a cake unless I'd have seen that. And I did with that one in the meadow. So, um, yeah, we just get inspiration from seeing finished things, pictures. Um, and the thing we can't do at the moment is, you know, grab hold of that wall and feel it. Um, but hey never mind that's really interesting because the, the, when i told gary what, what i was planning to do next saturday and i said to him look I won't be around a lot because i'm gonna um help people with the online wall show and stuff he went what's the point in having an online wall show you can't feel it so you don't know what it's going to be like and i was like wow the penny's really starting to drop with him <laughs> yes yeah. yeah, somebody's paying attention yeah. yeah, he doesn't do it very often, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so it's it, it's um, yeah, that's the one thing that we can't do, but we can't because it's like the drip, isn't it? When you feel it, a certain wall. Yeah. And do you know what, Robert? I forgot to bring um, oh, actually, did I? Do you know what? I've just thought I may have another bag of wool in my car boot. You took brilliant. <laughs> so i'll have to wait until the dead of night did i take what didn't you take the leaves with you the lap blanket not the leaves sorry yeah, the triangles that's yeah that's here i just need a few hours at a table to do that um there you go so we can do that i can yeah i can i can do that later. it's all things but i can't do anything while i'm talking to you guys that's the no, of course thing. not. No, that's fine. Because everything's too intricate. <laughs> uh, so I'll have a look uh, at that. Right. Morning, Evelyn. Hello, Evelyn. Safia says, quick, go look. <laughs> I'm sure it'll yeah. be the first thing she does, she does when we finish. And Marion says, got well, to go, more tidying to do. This time I'll be joined by the shredder. Bye. Bye, Marion. Happy shredding. Um, yeah, I am going to go to the car boot and have a look, but it'll have to be at night because lots of people walk past. Oh. I'm just on the road. Um, yeah, I have yeah. that problem. Yeah. So, never mind. Yeah. So, do you have any spare yarn with you that's not allocated to a project? No. Oh, well, I've got one ball. Oh. I've just got the one, which is the... Um, <coughs> um where is it oh even that's gone away i know it's here somewhere it's the it's the uh it's that peruvian 
one. Yeah. The the hand yeah. hand thingy one. Yeah. I'm gonna find it. I'll be back in a minute. Fair enough. Uh, I knew where it was. Yeah, it's fine. Claire, yeah, what's more up to today? Um, probably painting some more games figures later. Right. I would have thought. One day I'm going to get him to give me half a dozen so I can stand here and show you what he gets up to. Yeah. You will be quite amazed. We are all quite amazed. But yes, he's going to be upstairs in, we, we have the box room that he has a paint, as a painting room, has his little um, man shed. Right. Um, and yeah, he'll probably be upstairs doing his craft. So, um, yeah, while we have well, while we have a bit of time, so that'll be nice. Um, I don't think we have any need to go out for anything today, um, but I've got a list for later in the week. Um, and yeah, and just just generally straightening the place out, really, because we we had a bit of fun yesterday. Um, and unfortunately this week I will be I will be here sometimes but not others or I might be lurking in the background because I'm afraid I've got some work to do. Okay. So so if if Angela's back online, I shall probably be mostly working in the background now. But I will visit occasionally. Because uh yes, I'm I'm sure my employer would actually like me to crack on with something at some point. So there we go. <laughs> <laughs> So Tracy says, what is, what was it you said he does? Um, well, for fun, um, he is a war gamer. So tabletop war gaming with usually 28 mil figures, but it depends on the little army he's painting at the time. So he paints them up. He paints them up so well, he even has commissions from other people. So, um, and he has written a scenario and a book that has gone worldwide in on planet wargaming. So, um, yes, we're all desperately proud of what he's been up to. So, um, he is in wargaming what, I don't know, potentially a publisher might be in crochet and knitting. Somebody who's, you know, famous for patterns or written books. So, um so yeah yeah that's that's his thing but it's very handy having a husband who has hobbies too mm. janet let's go bye janet bye. See you. tracy i've just sent you the email um for the knit along angela sent to me george says well, i would love to see some of more soldiers yeah I will I will get him get him to dig me out about half a dozen good ones that I can I, I can hold up in front of the camera. Um I can't explain yeah, can't explain desperately too much about it because that's his game, not mine. But but it does mean that we have a mutual appreciation of what each other does. Ah. So there we go. Tracy says Ah, that's what I thought you said. My boys used to do those, and I think we may have some unfinished sets if he would like them after the lockdown. Yeah, no, I, I, that would be fab. Um, they used to enjoy making and painting them, but never actually played the game. Well, that happens to a lot of people, actually. Um, and some of the more commercial companies, like Warhammer and things like that, you could only use their figures for their games. They, they, they've written it, so they've kind of, um, you know, you have to give them your money. But um, but Mort doesn't do that sort of war gaming. But yeah, no, we'd be we'd be delighted because he's in clubs and stuff. And if it's something that he can't use, he'll know somebody who can. So there we mm. have it. Um. So just a little fascinating fact about me: I collect chess sets, but I can't play. I have about five very limited rare chess sets that are up in the loft, but I can't play for Toffee. Oh, um, okay. That's so funny. Um, Andrew, Sorry. if you can hear us, we've lost you. Oh, and Angela's gone, so hopefully she's on her way back. Um, so, yeah. Claire, the shopping visit the shop. 
Yeah. Am I back now? Yes, it is still there. Mort goes there occasionally. So. Welcome back, Angela. That's all right. Refresh. Tracy says maybe I should find some videos on YouTube and teach myself. Yeah. It's about strategy, though, and I'm not very good at forward thinking in the moment. So, but yes, maybe if I get towards the end of my furlough and I've run out of things to do, then that's something that I will teach myself. Have you got a Hogwarts Harry Potter one? Chess set? No. Oh. No, because I, the, the, the one that I want is really expensive <laughs> and Gary refuses to buy it. it. One, I can't play it. And two, we have nowhere really to put it because at the moment, the biggest spaces that I have are uh, the bedside tables. And at the moment, I've got uh, a Lego set on that one. And then on this one behind me, we're going to take the lamp away to put the um, Harry Potter castle on. And then that'll be out of space. So uh, nowhere, nowhere to put chess sets. That's why they're up in the loft. Oh, yeah. um, is Sheila still on the call? Oh, oh, sorry, on, on the show. Yes, she is. Right, okay, I've got a question. Ooh. This is a one ball from the Spotted Sheep. It's one of their free patterns, one ball. Can I do that with the Peruvian stuff that I bought there a little while ago? So that's that's what I'm asking. But just again, that's a knitted one, and there's a beautiful crocheted shawl there as well. Angela, I'm, Angela, I'm just about to show the pictures. Oh, thank God! Thank you. There we go. Yay! So, I'm uh, I'm just wondering if I could use that up and do that. But that says it's cotton this isn't cotton this is um what's that thing with them what is it um, um merino i think it's merino um but you know the one sheila the one that hangs up by the till from the um i got it a little while ago um i don't know what it is i've lost i haven't got the ball band with me um but that's the only spare thing and they're lovely those little nhs things um so i believe the they're on ravelry the patterns on ravelry but again if you need to get hold of that wall i'm sure that sheila would be able to send some of the little cotton amagurami cakes out or stylecraft would probably be fine for that as well but yeah it's that shawl i'm wondering whether to do but they've got some lovely one balls so get in touch with um, the spot sheet if you want any and i will be sheila anyone keep flipping out i have to Oh, it's done with lace weight cotton. I don't do lace weight, do I? <laughs> Never mind. Linda says uh, she's joining the, the Goggle Frogs Frogging Club. She's just had to frog and almost finished front of the cardigan and she didn't decrease at a vital point. That'll teach me to count properly. Oh, who's that? sorry to hear that, Linda. Linda Phillips, I think. Welcome to my world, Linda. I just don't no, understand. Linda Ellis. Linda Ellis, yeah, I, I, I do that. We just get carried away, don't we? We think we're doing really well, and then it's just like, oh, no, I should have been decreasing by now. Never mind. Oh, um, oh. Sheila says your happiness is DK. Oh, is it? Thank you. Right, so I just need to do something with this. Still don't know what to do with it, Sheila. It's just so beautiful. I love the feel, but that's... And do you know what it's called? Yeah, it's your happiness. It's a Peruvian, non-muled, beautifully sourced hank of thing called your happiness. Well spotted, Sheila. So I'll... Um, in fact, got, oh. oh, it's hand dyed happiness oh, by no, no, Rico. No, 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 no. Fair enough. It's 
it's lovely stuff really really lovely stuff and it's all like um I, I'm, all, I'm i'm wondering whether i could do that shawl with the pom-poms in this but i i think it would just work on something a little bit more lacy so you, so you could get some real definition and some beautiful um like what do you call it <sighs> some beautiful right, patterns I'm gonna put up on ravelry and nothing nothing is coming to there's no patterns for it no and that, this is what you find the certain ones that people haven't actually done patterns yet um but when i saw that lace shawl i thought it was um beautiful um so sheila said there's not enough meterage to make and uh, make it that big but do you know what sheila it might be that if i bought another hank there'd be enough so um <laughs> i might have to do that yeah thank you sheila i just need to have a think i know i've got things to finish but i just need an easy knit as well that i can just pick up and put down um because the other night i went to bed uh, it was about um midnight and i was still calling people until like two in the morning but it was just nice to just finish that black that shawl off whereas i couldn't do that with a gansey stitch pattern ah oh. Right, so I need to think about what I want to buy. I need to think about what the projects are next. At some point midnight, when there's nobody around, I need to run to the car in the street and um, see what's in the car boot, because who knows what might be in there. There may be nothing in there, but I'll check, because um, who knows, I may have a little bit of wool in there. Do you realise we're over an hour already? Mm, it's gone quick today. It has. That's because I never stopped talking. <laughs> I think it helps that there's a lot more people being interactive in the room as well. Yeah, yeah. which is brilliant. <laughs> oh. And it's lovely to have you back. Oh, thank you. It's lovely to be back. back. I'll go check on my mummy soon and see how she is so shall we say until tomorrow have we got one tomorrow 10 o'clock again 10 o'clock yeah. so for those of you who weren't here at the beginning the plan now is we will only do 10 till 11 every day unless we've got a guest speaker lined up which we are working on in the background and we will advertise those in advance so you'll know how long the session will be for that day um but uh, and there's now the uh, Facebook page, um, which I will just reshare with you uh, and you can upload your pictures straight to that. And we will have a look at those throughout the session. There we go. No. Nope. Wrong one. <laughs> Not my email. No. <gasps> There we go. So there is now a Goggle Frogs Facebook page. So please do upload your pictures straight to there. Um, and we will show those on the following session. Um, or just do them in the old fashioned way in Messenger and we'll do show them that way as well. Fab. Good. So um, everybody have a lovely day, whatever you're up to. Stay safe, stay at home and we'll see you at 10 o'clock tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye.